guys. Welcome to The Mom Voice. This is Lauren and Sarah with episode 81. Okay, Lauren, we have a guest with us today, Miss Kendra Harris. Hey, Kendra. Hey, I'm so excited to be here. Thank you. We're so excited. We've been talking about a skincare episode for so long. Oh, yes, so long. And we're finally delivering (laughs) on that promise. Um, Kendra is a esthetician, a lash artist, and she's a local business owner of Wildflower Beauty Bar here in Arizona. So Kendra, really fast, tell us a little bit about yourself and your family um, and your mom, you're a mom. Tell us about your kiddos. So I'm the owner of Wildflower Beauty Bar. Yes. And um, I started and got into this industry when I was about 17. Oh my and gosh. Um, I went to EVIT, East Valley Institute of Technology, while I was in high school and started Wildflower actually right out of school, just myself. And I loved doing what I was doing. And, you know, over the years, it's just so evolved into something so much bigger than I literally ever imagined. Mm-hmm. Um, and now world domination is basically the next step. <laughs> so I love that. What a go-getter. I you know. go, girl. I, I love awesome. it. I love what we do. I love what we stand for. I'm extremely passionate about yeah. my business and all that kind of good stuff. But tell us about your children. Yeah. So in between being a business owner, I got married and I've got two kids. I've got a son. He's two and his name is Mac and he is wild. Yeah. Uh, as boys are. Oh my goodness. gosh. <laughs> and I've got a almost four month old daughter. Her name's Indy. Oh my God. So, I love that. Name. I love the name Indy so too. much. And you guys would never guess seeing this girl. <laughs> She's just a knockout at, with a four month old. So I know. That's impressive. <laughs> I'm jealous. She's still in her twenties, Lauren. Yeah. <laughs> we'll give you that. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, I'm kidding. A couple more years. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I'm no kidding. that I'm is kidding. so exciting. Indy awesome. is so cute. So man, so many things. And have you loved owning your own business? I love it. And um, obviously it's hard. I mean, it's not easy, but it definitely is so worth it. And we literally have the best customers in the entire world that just make business owning so much fun. And I have an incredible team. We're actually more of like family. We're definitely sisters and we have a blast together. That's so, so fun. Are you more behind the scenes or are you still doing esthetician work and lash work or... I wish that I was in more. Um, I'm definitely a lot of behind the scenes. I love behind the scenes. I'm I'm running the operation. So, um, but I am definitely doing more of the medical side of things at this point. mm -hmm. So more like medical chemical peels. We're looking towards 2021 to get some lasers. Oh, we're so so excited to talk about this. That's an insider scoop. Insider scoop. Heard it first here. That's (laughs) exciting. Well, congratulations. It's really impressive and it's been really cool to watch because I do remember seeing Wildflower Beauty Bar years ago and you guys have just grown and evolved so much. So it's really incredible. I mean, let's just dive on in. I have been wanting, like Sarah said, to have an esthetician on for ages. Like, like literally every other week. Yeah, She's no, like, I think um, really the first month we even started the podcast, I was like, I want someone on with skincare. Absolutely. So, I mean, we're going to ask a lot of random questions. Just ride with us. And I we've got like all over the board. Um, but first off, we've mentioned it before on the podcast. Mask knee. Is that like a real thing? Mask knee? I really feel like it is because I do feel like my chin and cheeks have had more blemishes than they ever have. It's not one in my zone. I have to cut in. I've never, ever heard this term. I, well, I hate the word. Can I, I just know. say it? Most I mean, people it's, are like... It's, I know. It's so... Most people cringe at the word moist. Oh. I will say the word moist all day long. I feel like actually being an esthetician, side note, that we use a lot of really cringy words. Like I use the word penetrate on a <laughs> daily basis. <laughs> Anyways, um, that does not make me cringe though. The word mask knee makes me feel okay. weird. Yes, yeah. it's such it. like a commercialized, stupid like headline word. I say mask. But back. I do believe it's a thing. Because at the gym, we have to wear masks and we have to wear masks every day and it's 105 mm-hmm. degrees here and you're sweating and it's like kind all condensed in like this tight skin space and it's gross oh totally so but you really never heard me say it no I had talked about it on the stories and people piped in and were like oh yeah I get past me oh yeah I get it too oh my gosh so, because so I had a severe chin breakout probably three weeks ago so like and what we're if, 35 I know, and yes. that's the frustrating that part is the Kendra. frustrating part so tell us like is this a thing how can we help it is there a way to prevent mm-hmm. it or it's just kind of part of the pandemic yeah it totally is a real thing you're not crazy because I know like so many people have been like okay I'm literally way too old to be having acne now right why is this happening 
And it's unfortunate no matter what kind of mask you wear, it's going to happen. The air is trapped, you're breathing, there's bacteria, you're touching your face, all these things that contribute to bacteria getting stuck in your skin and breaking you out. Yes. So it's (laughs) inevitable. Trust me, you guys are not the only people. So is it inevitable? Do you think if we put, well, first of all, do you guys wash your masks? Oh, I should wash them way more than I do. I'm going to plead the fifth. Yeah. Oh, no. so I'm an seriously. esthetician. I'm okay, plead see? The okay, you guys are making me feel better. <laughs> I, know. I was just thinking about the other day, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I haven't washed some of these masks for way too long. I know. And then I like the disposable ones. So do you feel like if like, gym goers if they put on a fresh mask every time will that help or it's still it happening? totally does help like I have clients that are not suffering with it at all and then I have set like majority that are like I'm dying yes and there's totally things that you can do to help it like wearing the disposable masks yes which obviously gets costly and it creates so much waste yes so um mm-hmm. the fabric ones are a lot better but remembering to wash them every single day is such a chore yes mm-hmm. so your products really matter and um, there's a couple of things that we carry that we are telling our clients just throw in their purse that help absorb oil yes Mm -hmm. and um as well as getting regular facials it does make a difference does it okay especially right now with what we're dealing with with the masks coming in every four to six weeks to get like a deep pore cleanse and just getting everything out of your face Mm -hmm. it is a winner oh my gosh divine Okay, well, going off of that, adult acne, okay? Mm -hmm. I think we've talked about this more than we ever have this year, Lauren. Yeah, Just like I've always had really clear, like really good skin. And this year, I feel like it's not been in the mask area for me. It's been in my hairline. It's been like those deep ones that hurt. Do you know what I'm talking Mm -hmm. about? Yeah. So I got desperate and I ordered proactive because I literally (laughs) used proactive when it came out like 15 years ago. And it was the bomb, dude. It was the bomb. Do you like day. proactive? Because I feel like every esthetician I've ever told I use proactive, they're like, no, yeah, don't See, stop. Okay, I used to use proactive. I used to use St. Ives apricot scrub. I'm sure you guys have oh, seen the memes. Ives, okay, totally. <laughs> it was like a, it was a staple back in the day. Yes, but now there are so many better options, and oh, obviously because I am a licensed esthetician, I've learned so many things about why these products are not the best. Yes, but out of desperation, girl, you got to do what you got to do. I will say it did clear up the acne, but it's dried me out. Yeah. So for like aging and like luminous skin, yeah. I've noticed like probably not the best like right. thing to do but it did like dry it up I will yeah. say well, okay you know why are we getting zits or, yeah. or breakouts at this age I'm 36 next month like this is unacceptable I know. why does it happen I know so like every seven years your body develops new allergies oh. your hormones are always changing yes so well. and obviously like getting our cycles and moving closer to menopause every single day so don't depress me i'm sorry i'm (laughs) sorry this just got really dark (laughs) you're fine so but really there's so many things in our lives that are changing every single day a lot of us are feeling a lot more stressed this year so because of these things that are contributing to acne you can have a stress breakout um hormonal Mm. breakout is that a real thing yeah 100 percent Is it really? I always thought it was just like me not washing my makeup off one night or it was like bacteria. Some people's bodies respond differently. So you may not respond like that, but you might. I might. might. Yeah. So it just depends on everybody's different. Some people's body responds to stress by migraines and others get zits. Yeah. So like pick your poison. So true. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> Cause yeah, I don't hormones. get headaches, but I've been having more breakouts. I feel like it's weird. I, I feel like after I stopped having kids, I like kind of leveled out and then all of a sudden I'm breaking out. It mm-hmm. was like weird. I was like, wait, what's happening? So I have a five year old now, but it's it's just so crazy that we're still dealing with this into our mid thirties. Yeah. And it's and now with the pandemic and the heat and the sweating, it just amplifies it. Well, and I think that going on that too your products matter yes and i think that 2020 was the year of like okay i'm gonna really talk about like what you put on your body affects what goes it also goes inside your body so um things like your food your lotions your face products all of these things contain ingredients that are not only going on your skin but inside your body and so a lot of things um for instance bath and body works lotions Smell fantastic. Uh oh. But don't break my heart. I, I'm really Are you about sorry. to. I'm gonna break your heart. I'm so sorry. <gasps> but Bath and Body Works lotions actually contain hormone disrupting ingredients that no. will disrupt your hormones. No. Yes. 
which <gasps> can cause breakouts. No. It can cause... I am a firm believer that these products are a big reason why we have such a huge issue with infi- or, uh, infidelity. Oh, ah! my gosh. Infidelity, um, yes. Maybe that, too. We're all oh. smelling so good. Yeah, it's so good. Oh, can't, can't no. oh um, no. Infertility. That oh, is what I was going to say. Interesting. Wow. So I think all of these products that are disrupting our hormones and jacking up our bodies are affecting oh so much gosh. more than just giving you soft skin. Wow. So... It's Sarah's a, it's a big a fan of Bath and Body. Oh my okay, gosh. with that said, would that even go as far as like their candles and stuff that's 100%. in the air? Lauren, no, stop. Um, I'm going to break actually, your heart and yeah. stop it. No, but I have heard that candles can even have harmful like ingredients to the home. Yes, no, because really you are ingesting those in your nose. And trust me, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of those candles. You don't know so I'm not what even Sarah has in her cup. My, my <laughs> eyes are really wide right now. I know. <laughs> Draw jaw drop okay. you can't unhear oh, these yeah, things okay. yes schedule. but it's true like we just don't ever think about those things you don't think about the stuff that you're putting on your body affecting your insides yeah oh, and that's yeah. why like it's a big thing to think about whenever i have someone that's 32 coming in being like why am i breaking out wow. and i'm like okay let's go over all of the things let's okay. cover all of the bases okay we're going to talk about products in one second i just thought because- sugar was ruining my life <laughs> now you're telling me the sugar oh, scrub yeah. is ruining my life <laughs> scrub is ruining your body too Jeez. oh my gosh no we had a conversation recently with like george's family and just about all the things we ingest and all the things that and foods and what's it's in a our rabbit food. Hole. it's just oh it is and you mm-hmm. even to say lotion it is just depressing Jeez. Mm-hmm. okay oh my god so okay we're going to talk about products because we want to know all the things that we should be doing but before that let's talk about like our best well, I guess it kind of goes hand in hand, but what is the best skin routine for us even to prevent the breakouts, um, just maintain mm-hmm. the the hydrated skin, all of the things? Is it the bedtime routine that matters, the morning, both? Like mm-hmm. what, what do you suggest to your clients to really help even it out? So the crazy thing about skincare is it's not a one size fits all. Yes. Every true. single person's skin is going to be so different. And something that's going to make me so clear is going to make you break out mm-hmm. and vice versa. So it is definitely a very personal, very customized situation. But what are some general rules like you would live by? Sunscreen. Sunscreen. Sunscreen absolutely. I'm, An SPF in your every single lotion day. or? So you should be using a completely separate. That's okay. like it doesn't count when it's in your makeup. Okay. Count. Oh, it doesn't count. It doesn't okay. Count. Okay. So if you have a moisturizer that has an SPF in it, that counts. Okay. And then the fun thing about SPF is you should be reapplying it. So <laughs> during the day. So we have a product that's just like a, it's actually one that you can just throw in your purse and it's almost like a little powder and you can just dust your face. So SPF, huge. SPF is huge. I've, okay, I've I have that. a question on SPF. So let's say we're up in the morning, we get in the shower, we're out of the shower. First thing I do is typically put on moisturizer. Mm-hmm. When does the SPF come in? So you can even like cocktail it in with your moisturizer and put it in at the same time. Okay. And you let it dry completely and mm-hmm. then you're putting on your base and your makeup. Yeah, okay. Totally. Got it. As far as nighttime routines go, yeah. I mean, what are the staples like cleanser? Do you need a okay, toner? Well, even before that, sorry. How bad? No. How bad is it to sleep in your makeup? Like how truly oh bad? My it's gosh. like the standard that. Can women... we just pretend like you didn't? Say I know that. she does but it like, all the time. No, no, <gasps> I don't. I do not anymore. I might be in college, <laughs> but I do not anymore. I, I, I almost feel weird with it on like oh, past yeah. eight o'clock. You know what I mean? Like I'm like, I gotta get this off. So actually, I'm much, much better about it. But for those out there that just get lazy or up all night with the baby or just fall asleep because I we all know we've done it. Mm-hmm. Like, how bad is that? Like, it's, it's like guaranteed so zits the next day. Guaranteed zits, guaranteed your pores are going to be ginormous and Ugh. guaranteed you're going to get wrinkles faster than anyone else. Wrinkles, 100%. ladies. Premature aging. Oh, from just overnight makeup. Yes. Ooh. You... Like that's good you let know. out a ton of toxins and oils when you sleep, and that's Ooh. why you have to like brush your teeth when you wake up, and that's why you wash your face when you wake up. You're not oh. doing anything when you're laying in your bed, but your body is working the entire time. Wow! So, oh my god! Yeah, okay. but okay. I do feel like my face is like healed in the morning too. Like you know what I mean? It's like fixing itself. Yeah. It's kind of like more hydrated. Like because I tend to be dry. Are you? What are you, Sarah? Yeah, Oily or dry? I would say dry. You tend to be dry. Yeah. I definitely tend to be more on the dry side. So, but in the morning, I feel like oh, I feel like fresher and dewy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So totally. on top of like that, while we're talking sleeping in your makeup, what do you think about the the towelettes? 
like for quick and easy removal, like the Neutrogena. Oh my gosh, no. No. Oh, it does you not mean work. the wipes? Yeah, the wipes oh, that you can you're use. I the microfiber things no. that are all the rich. Yeah. What do you think of those? I think those are great. We actually sell them. Yeah, you I think, think those, those are, are totally like... fine. They're good because if you were you guys both have lash extensions, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, they're actually really good to use with your lash extensions because oh, they don't pull on your extensions. Oh, see, I feel like they do. I really? get scared about them. I, well, maybe okay, maybe I actually haven't had them pulled, but I'm scared to be around my eyes because I know that doesn't happen with those. You don't them? no because it's okay. a microfiber where like a regular towel is like knotted. Yes. You know what I mean? With yes. like the loops. You're right. So like the microfiber doesn't have those knots where like the it doesn't pull. Okay, well, but you say no too. on the wipes. No. Why? No, girl. Because it's not cleaning your pores. Yeah. Okay. It's taking the things off of the surface. Kind of, but it's not actually cleaning your skin. Yeah. Where like an actual cleanser fair. is going to yeah. like foam up and exfoliate your skin and like do something. I've you know? straight up used baby wipes more than I want to admit. <laughs> you know Baby what? wipes? Not uh-huh. even like Neutrogena wipes? Uh-uh. Desperate Girls. times. Uh-huh. It just happens. I'll clean my face, then wipe the counter down oh. all at the oh. same time. <laughs> my <laughs> gosh. Kendra just fell out of her chair. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, my heart just fell. <laughs> I'm dead serious right now. Sarah's Stop it. Yeah, I'm done. Okay, we're really fa- fast. Back to the bedtime routine. So if you had to suggest to, you know, a general client, what does bedtime routine look like? So my favorite, I love bedtime routine. I think bedtime is actually my favorite just because I feel like all the things go on your skin. Yeah. A cleanser always. Yes. Toners are really, really wonderful. Serums are huge. I love a good nighttime moisturizer. Like we have mm. one that is for your face and your neck because you can't neglect the neck because no one wants a turtleneck. Mm-hmm. Amen, girl. And, Women uh, forget that. Don't forget that neck. Oh, yeah. And so the serums are great. Retinols are really fantastic, too. After the age of 19, everyone should be using a So retinol. are you putting 15 things on at night? Maybe. Oh, okay. My gosh. I want you to elaborate on two things that I really don't like know or get. First being, well, I want to know about the retinol and mm-hmm. I want to know about toner. Mm-hmm. What I, okay, I'm, I, this might be so tabbed too. My mom, I grew up, my mom would put Retin-A on her face. Mm-hmm. And Retin-A, I, Retin-A and Retinol, it, it's the same product, mm-hmm. right? Same ingredient in right. there or something. But my mom has really good skin. Mm-hmm. I will just give her that. She used Retin-A. It's probably, it's a pretty brutal, like harsh. I know if I use a Retin-A, it like burns me off the next day, my whole skin. So is Retinol just the same ingredient, a little more mild? And what does Retinol do for you? So Retinol is like the bomb because it literally just does everything. Everything. It helps with the fine lines and wrinkles. It helps exfoliate your skin. It mm-hmm. helps with the dark spots, acne, acne scarring, so all of it. scarring, everything. Everything. So that's why retinol is like so great is because it will physically like exfoliate your skin for you and yes. help premature aging and all of those kind of things okay so that's why retinol is like kind of a no-brainer okay, okay. make sure the retinol is happening yeah the toner now i didn't like grow up using a toner actually proactive does have that toner mm-hmm. stage I remember what that. does the toner do and should we be like buying i know they have those like um rose water ones and then they have like the makeup watery ones what does a toner do so toners come in so many different forms shapes and sizes right no two toners are the same um some like the company we use is called eminence and Mm -hmm. you actually spray them on the face and some of them are so fancy that they're called toniques so it's like so bougie mm-hmm. but bougie. and then you've got like the proactive one where you put that on a cotton round and you rub it all over your yes. face mm-hmm. right so kind of for me toners are like after your cleanser step your your skin might feel a little bit stripped a little dry a little tight and then you put your toner on and it's supposed to kind of like rehydrate oh. so it's a hydration step totally it's toner is hydration okay yeah, yeah okay. your toners depend too like i ha- i actually use one that mattifies me because i'm super oily okay so i'll use mine just to make sure that my oil stays under control where like yes. you might use a toner that's going to be more hydrating right. okay see that's so. good to know okay we're going to go into products yeah because with all those things that you need to use at night what are some ideas right so we want to pick your brain on the three top drugstore products because we have listeners of all means yeah, maybe ages, you're on a budget everything and you just right. want to help your skin but you can't afford the big stuff right. yet so mm-hmm. like if you're going to the drugstore your three top buys and then your three like sephora or at a, a spa like yours yeah what you would recommend right okay drugstore is very tricky as i'm sure you guys have kind of got sure. um drugstore is very hard because the products are diluted and the ingredients are not the best. And that's yeah. where you get that cheap price tag. Right. And you don't want to be doing the negative effects that just because it's $6 that it's 
it's not going to help your skin. If anything, it's just going to do more damage. Okay. So if I had to recommend any brand at the drugstore, it would be Shea Moisture. Oh. Uh-huh. Um, they're an indie brand. It's actually a black owned business. It's an incredible company. They stand behind their ingredients and all kinds of things like that. Okay. So um, I discovered them because I was actually using an app to help clean up my cabinet. Because I wanted to use less things because I was using like some Bath and Body Works lotions that I maybe didn't want to use anymore. So I discovered their body lotions and they're extremely clean brand. It's it's actually really phenomenal. So they have some facial masks actually that you can buy for like two, three bucks at Walmart and they're fantastic. Okay. So um, they have some pretty good facial products that I would definitely, if you have to go drugstore, yeah. you want to go clean. So yes. Shea Moisture is definitely a brand that I stand behind. Okay. As far as higher end stuff, same kind of thing. When you're looking at Sephora, even though it has the $60 price tag, doesn't mean that it's going to do anything for your skin and doesn't mean that those products are extremely concentrated or don't contain things that are beneficial. Right. So I say go professional. If you're going to spend the money, find an esthetician in your area and get product that is customized for your skin. That's what we do. We yes. pick out things that are going to benefit your skin. Okay. So we use brands um, Eminence, which is an all organic line. It's actually based out of Hungary. And um, they're an incredible company. I've been so happy working with them. They plant a tree for every product we sell. So we've planted oh over 2,000 trees just in the year that we've been using them. Yeah, I've so, heard of them. I've never personally used it. It's but incredible. I've, like yeah. I have been blown away by their product line. And then we also use Rhonda Allison, which is a little bit more science-based, but right. still on the more natural side. So we've got kind of got the best of both worlds. Mm-hmm. And really... I think people are very surprised sometimes at the price range because mm-hmm. it's not as expensive as some might think. You would you would find things in my store that are probably cheaper sometimes than even just going to Sephora okay. that are more concentrated, that are going to do way more for your skin than something you could buy right. at Ulta. Okay. okay. And, Ooh, and what if, like we just talked about the nighttime routine consisting yeah. possibly of 15 things. <laughs> if you're buying three things, if yeah. you're on a budget and you have to start with three yes. and you're in your 30s, what are you getting? Cleanser, hands mm-hmm. down. Okay. SPF and, ooh, that's tricky. Cleanser, SPF, and maybe a moisturizer. Okay. Mm-hmm. I think like those a are daily probably moisturizer. Like my three that if you had to like tie my hands and you're like pick three items. Yes. Yeah. Cleanser, SPF, hands down, because you need that protection from the sun. And a moisturizer, because we could go so many different ways with moisturizers. Yeah. Gotcha. So. Okay. Great. So if I'm coming to your beauty bar, what is like the best facial treatment I could invest in right now for my skin? I like how you mentioned earlier on from the mask sneeze, just even a mask, like a deep cleansing mask mm-hmm. or deep cleansing facial to clean that out. But what would you suggest? Like the dermaplane? There's mm-hmm. like so many things. Like, like endless. But you have to know, like so many moms out there have never ever gotten a facial. Yeah. Oh, it's like they total, know nothing it's about It's a total it. treat. Yeah. I mean, it's like, and so you go once a year, an annual thing. What is something you're just going to get your best bang for your buck? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm going to pick two. So my first one with dealing with the mask acne is going to be a uh, it's called, we call it the poppy. We have all of our facials are named after flowers because we're wildflower beauty bar. And um, so that facial is specifically to clean out the skin. Mm. So to do extractions, we do high frequency, which kills all the bacteria. We use a really good mask, a good exfoliant, all the good things to just really make you feel fresh and squeaky clean after. Okay. So, so that one's really, really so good. So target like an exfoliating type yes. clean out. Yeah. Clean yeah. Out. If okay. you're feeling just yucky. Yeah. My second, we're getting into peel season here. So it's finally cooling down. I think we're going to hit like the low hundreds. <laughs> yes, we've made it. If not, guys. we're going to go below 100. Yeah. So fall is here, you guys. So peel season is coming. Chemical peels are incredible. And it's I love chemical peels because, again, it's kind of like one of those things where you do it and it treats everything. Mm-hmm. It's treating the fine lines. It's treating the acne. It's treating the spots. It's treating the scars. So you're getting one treatment, but treating all of the things to get brand new, beautiful skin. And are you able to do that as a teenager? Absolutely. You are. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, there are contraindications to doing, I mean, really anything. Yeah. That's why we do a very thorough consultation and all kinds of things. Yeah. And a chemical peel that's taking off a layer of skin. Yeah. For some people, everyone's different. With some people, they do physically peel. Other people, they don't. 
So definitely something that would be great for a teen, though, any age, really. And let's talk about the process of a chemical pill. Like, are, is there downtime? What definitely does it Definitely like? downtime. Okay. Um, I know the one I was looking at is, like, way intense. Yes. But they're not all that way, They're right? not all that way. So not every chemical pill is created equal. Yeah. Um, we do uh, medical-grade chemical pills at my studio. So we do both. We have mm-hmm. Rhonda Allison chemical pills, which are phenomenal. And we also do medical grade. So we offer the perfect peel. We also offer the Rev peel. Those are medical grade. We can only do those because we have a medical director. And they're fantastic. They're a lot more intense. Those you are guaranteed that you are going to physically peel and a lot. But your results are going to be very, very dramatic. Mm. So it's definitely worth a week of being flaky and having to stay out of the heat and out of the sun because you get very beautiful results. Is there pain involved? No, I wouldn't call it pain. You're going to have a little bit of discomfort while you're peeling, but yeah, it's like a sti- pain. well, it stings when it goes on a little bit, it does, right? A little and bit. then just the flaking, like okay. anything, like yeah. I, I would imagine. Okay, well then your top two recommendations are an exfoliating facial and a chemical peel. Absolutely. Okay. Well, I, okay. My question for Kendra, mm. I want to know your thoughts on Botox. I'm such a fan. Are you? So I actually got Botox for the first time when I was probably 22 or 23. <gasps> really? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Botox is an incredible preventative. Yeah. Preventative. And absolutely. it is literally like, I can't even tell you how much I love Botox. I love Botox. I'll admit I have gotten Botox three times now. I yeah. think three times. Yeah. And I'm a total fan too. I wish I would have started younger Yeah. because yeah. I'm like, it is such a preventative tool and it is not near what I thought. It's like mm-hmm. a few pokes and it just freezes the muscles. But I just never like really understood that. Yeah. yeah I th- well, no one really knows, right? Yeah. Unless you're in the field, you don't even know what Botox is because yeah, it's tell not your us. job. <laughs> yeah. Tell us what Botox so, actually does. Well, it, no, it literally does freeze the nerve. Yes. So I actually got into Botox because I am a jaw clencher. And I get oh. migraines due to my jaw clenching. So I actually had 11 units put in both sides of my jaw to, f- to stop my jaw from clenching subconsciously. Wow. wow. Yeah, so, and did it help and it oh, solved yeah. the problem? That It sold me just with that because oh then I would gosh. stop getting migraines because I couldn't clench down on my jaw when I'm just thinking about something. Mm-hmm. So that is kind of when my love for Botox started. And then I got it around my eyes because when I smile, mm-hmm. I get mm-hmm. some really beautiful fine lines. Mm-hmm. And that also just like, it just clears it up. And then my skin is smooth and, oh, and yeah. no one can see when I'm angry. <laughs> yes, exactly. So right. Good. I got it for the first time from a friend and I have been really happy. I really have liked you? it. Yeah. Yeah. Good, because I, I know at first you were a little ner- like tense, like literally tense. You're yeah. like, is this normal? I'm feeling this is weird. Right. But you've liked it. I you've do. gotten used to it. Yeah. I think I would do it again. Yeah. Like how it, often do you think you suggest someone doing it to really use, make it preventative, like continual? Yeah. So everyone's going to be different with that. Like my sister gets Botox and she actually, her body metabolizes it super fast. Yeah. Oh. So she actually has to go about every three months. I've heard that. Anywhere from like really six to nine months though. Oh, okay. So it just depends on you. Yeah. Okay. Good to know. But big That's fan. good. Okay. We kind of touched on this earlier, but I really wanted to also pick your brain for kind of some of our moms out there that have teenagers mm-hmm. because I think, um, again acne and skin and for teenagers it's kind of just this it's vast and you just don't know when it's going to get serious or if it's a few zits and then it you know escalates really quickly so let's talk about teen acne for a second I mean when is it a good good time to step in and maybe get those products that they need maybe when is it time to see a dermatologist or even go get Mm -hmm. maybe some treatments done do you guys see very many teens at this point I mean what's your experience with that I think it's definitely becoming more popular for moms to bring their teens in I think that a lot of times people don't know we exist and they also don't know that we treat teenagers and that we also treat the skin we don't just rub you and put lotion on your face and make you feel good right so we actually do things that really do help the skin and I think it's finally becoming a little bit more popular Mm -hmm. um I think that before like how we were raised that our moms didn't really know a whole lot about skin, that there was any options to really look anywhere besides a dermatologist. So I'm glad that it's definitely becoming more popular to go and see an esthetician and invest in your child's skin right. before taking a step and having to have them take medication because really it's it's not always the answer. Mm-hmm. So um, we see tons of teens 
every single day. And there's nothing more satisfying than a 16-year-old girl coming in that is so incredibly self-conscious because she's got terrible acne and doing a couple of treatments, getting her on some good product and completely seeing this girl blossom. Yes. And oh my gosh, it feels so it good. It can be so, I, I was saying to them earlier, I, it can be paralyzing, that insecurity. Mm-hmm. I think even, even as an adult, I hate when my skin is broken out. It's like just something, I just hate it. But I can only imagine being back in those high school years. And and it's it's hormones for them right isn't that's what's causing their kind of skin reactions or what it can be genetic okay I actually have a couple of clients who 100% it was genetic that their kids got terrible terrible cystic acne Mm -hmm. it could be diet could be allergies okay good all these I mean kids nowadays are so mean I mean they're always mean right right so we all dealt with that in high school but oh yeah it's mean to each other yes bullying each other oh I know yeah so I I can only imagine the struggle and if you're so I do have some I've had some nephews that have um had some pretty bad breakouts and they have turned to Accutane. Um, so it is like a medical treatment. Like how, how do you feel about Accutane? So I'm not a fan. Yeah, I'm not. not a that's, fan. Okay. that's okay. Yeah. Say your, yeah, say what you it's think. It's just, I'm not, I hate anything that you're going to have to put into your body. That's going to alter so many things. The side effects to Accutane, you literally have to sign a form that yeah. says that you could potentially become infertile. So like that's literally on the form. They make you take a, a pregnancy test before you get on it. Um, I know people that now have autoimmune diseases after being off of it for years. I have clients who've been off of it for five plus years, but their skin is still paper thin. It- and I have to think it might be like ingest, like what we're eating and things Absolutely. like that as well. Maybe. That goes with yeah. everything that we put into our body affects yeah. everything, yeah. no matter what it is. So for okay. sure. Good kind to of know. like on that food allergy note and everything like that. I, I, yeah, I was just thinking like they hit the puberty stage and their hormones mm-hmm. are going crazy. But yeah, that is that so too true. does affect it though. Hormones yeah. definitely do make a difference. Yeah, genetics and all. So I mean, if, um, so do you feel like it's equal to seeing an esthetician to a dermatologist or is there, there are certain situations that they should see a dermatologist? How, what do you yeah, think? Yeah, absolutely. There is a point where there's been times where we've had people come in and we're like, you know what? not comfortable touching this you're gonna need to go see a dermatologist yeah yeah. basically what acne is it's it's an infection so if we can't get that infection under control in my office I'm not a doctor I can't prescribe things I can't even diagnose things so all all I can say is you know what I think we're gonna need to turn this over to a dermatologist yeah Yeah, and that's just what's gonna be best to treat your skin interesting okay and do you feel like all the products you recommended would be fine for teens too oh yeah absolutely like i said before eminence is an all organic line it's so gentle and they do have and it's effective which is incredible that you can find a line that's not only organic and clean but effective and actually does something for the skin and do you think or at least i found in my personal life it's consistency like you have to be consistent or I Absolutely. have to be consistent. Like I feel like I'll get a new product and then I'll be really good about it for like a week. Yes. And then I kind of phase off and I might start using the soap in the shower or on my skin. And then I'm like complaining why I'm having skin issues. And so I do think it's a lot about when you're having issues, trying to get it under control, it's consistency. You Absolutely. cannot be lazy. You can't. Yeah. And it's an investment. You have to invest the time and yeah. take care of your skin. It's like getting your teeth whitened, spending hundreds of dollars to get your teeth whitened and then not brushing your teeth for a week. I know. Well, then why did you just invest in getting your teeth whitened? Yeah, you totally. Know? Yeah. Oh, and I, I like you were saying earlier, man, if we could just go back. I, I mean, I wasn't like a major tanning bed person or anything, but I mean, we live in Arizona and mm-hmm. we're just in the sun constantly. And I just feel like, oh, if I could go back and SPF it a lot more than I did. I know. I wish I would have. Oh, I was in the tanning beds five days a week Mm -hmm. all through high school. Isn't that crazy? Think about that. And on on our final note, how about hydration? Like everyone should be drinking more water, right? That totally affects the skin and helps the skin. Yeah. Are there any ingestibles? Like if you're going to like collagen waters, all the rage, Mm -hmm. all the things like, do you have any? Thoughts on that? So quick note, collagen, taking collagen does actually not make you produce collagen. So that's like a huge myth. Okay. It helps your bones. It does not help your skin produce collagen. 
So that's like a huge myth. Yeah. To ingesting collagen does help um, keep your skin clear, but it does not help your skin produce that anti-aging collagen as well as like helping keep your nails strong and your hair healthy as well. Oh. So um, with ingestibles, water literally makes the biggest of difference. Mm -hmm. And also your diet does definitely affect your skin. If you're just eating junk and not taking care of your body, it's got to come out somewhere. Actually, this is an added bonus. I learned from an esthetician, not, I'm not even kidding you, a year ago that she did this whole thing on her Instagram and she has hundreds of thousands of followers. She's like, if you're not pooping every day, that bacteria has got to get out of your body somehow. <gasps> so it can oh. come out of your pores. I'm in trouble. Oh. Isn't that crazy? Oh my God. But I oh. never you thought about it, that. And she's like, right. digestive health is so important because if you're backed up, that bacteria has got to make its way out somehow. And I'm yes. like, my mind is blown. I'm so screwed. <laughs> well, and I did like, I worked on like a gut refresh, like a kind of like a gut diet yes. recently. And I felt like my skin really did show like mm -hmm. such better, cleaner signs from that. Just yeah. eating better, better choices and mm -hmm. things like that. But I definitely could drink more water. That's yeah. something I continually like try to like keep up on so oh, yeah. I'm the worst at it so you know you're preaching to the choir yeah. oh, <laughs> I know. we all can do a little better oh my gosh Kendra this was all so perfect super Thank helpful you so much Good, super I'm, I'm like excited to get in and like get something done yeah Yay. I need to I treat know. myself after this I know. COVID situation I know. I know we all do we wow. all need a little treat for ourselves Absolutely. and our skin so thank you so much Kendra um, you can find Kendra at Wildflower Beauty Bar on Instagram and you just put out a new website which is arizonawildflower.com yes it's okay. beautiful so we can check out all the products you were talking about yeah. yes actually yeah. we're gonna be making live this week that oh. you can shop on our website oh perfect so oh, be able to purchase good. products on our website okay, okay yeah. great okay well super helpful this we're gonna let you get thank back you. to your to your littles thank you so much for joining us thank yes. you ladies thank you kendra and be sure to check me out at wildflower beauty awesome Art. all right well we just let kendra go home lauren did you get all your questions answered yes oh i think i could have like rambled for so much longer because it's just like it is so there's so much information but i loved it i know that and we great. might even have another skin episode yes, a bit down the road we need to there's just it's endless but that was perfect i know she was great. she's such a sweetheart and there's i feel like it was like just enough info where we can now go like deep dive a few things because right, i think uh, she's right everybody yeah. has different situations right. different like types of skin different um concerns yeah so at least if we grazed upon it you can kind of go do your research right. and get some help in your area and right. whatnot. I need to go look up mask knee. Never Nasty. heard of it. Oh my gosh. I can't believe Sarah has it. I swear I've Instagrammed about it, but yeah, oh I guess gosh. it's kind of a thing. That is so funny. Okay. Well, let's wrap it up with our hits and misses. What was your hit of the week? My hit is I feel like I'm finally back into the gym groove. Oh, like, yeah. you know how it kind of takes a while to get there where you like kind of want to go and you look forward to it. Those first five or 10 times you're just like, oh, I just want to get out of bed or oh, yeah. I want to yeah. watch a show tonight. But I finally kind of think I'm in my groove of like, I'm looking forward to it. I want to get there. I... I'm sad when I can't get there that day. I thought you were going to say the kids club opened at the gym. Well, oh, amen, That's sister. your hit. That is my hit. <laughs> Thank you. Amplify that by five. And right, yes, right. the gym kids club opened this week and that hugely helps me. So I'm a lot more flexible in my schedule oh my. and my Caleb can go and whatever. So it's been great. Game changer. Totally. All right. Well, my hit is like a really quick and easy one. I had a rough day. It's mm -hmm. going to be my miss. Okay. In just a second, you're going to hear my miss and it'll make sense why my land and did this but the other day I was having a rough afternoon and I was laying on my bed just like stressed it was like five o'clock four four o'clock and he came in the room and he was like mom what can I do for you oh. and I'm like oh honey don't worry about it don't worry about it he goes in my bathroom and takes out my trash for me oh <laughs> I love so sweet. I'm like, mom, win right mom there. Mom, win. I have Do succeeded. Do you think he could sense that you were having a bad day? Oh, totally. He was wanting to make me happy. To like, yeah, okay. He okay. was trying to do something to make me happy. And when He's I didn't say anything, pleaser. the first thing he thinks is to go dump my trash. <laughs> trash out something. Oh, I love that. I'm like, you're going to be a good husband. A good little guy. I yes, he that. is. That was so sweet. Okay, tell me what your miss was. My miss, okay, this has been something I've always, like the last year or two, I think, I've always struggled with and now that we're getting back into a routine and school is 
I'll usually always go to the bed with the kitchen clean, tidied up. Most, you know, 80, yeah, you 90% do. tidied yeah. up. Like not always, but I just swear the morning go is just crazy. It's like the hair, ba- we have this basket with our hair stuff. It's all over in the kitchen. And then I'm packing lunches and we got the cereal boxes. And out. just like that, we're and, right back to it. And right back. And not only that, I just run out of time to even clean it. So then I leave with just kind of the bomb. Yeah. And I always come home before my husband does or even school's done and have like an hour to like clean it back up and start fresh when everyone runs in the door. But right now with this weird limbo of the school and everything, it's just like weird. And I just feel it lingers. And I try to just find lost time. all will to yes. do it. Well, not only that, I kind of think about the point, you know, have you ever thought to yourself, like, what if I died in my house and they had to come in my house and see my house? <laughs> Like, or what if I died or something happened to me and they, someone had to go in my house and what would they see and what would they think of me? Okay. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Kind of. Yeah. Like, or if you got in a car accident and you're wheeled to the hospital yeah. and all of a sudden the police officers have to take your kids to the house or oh, whatever, you're yeah. not there. And like the bomb's still there. Uh-huh. I think about stupid things like that. Yeah. I, and not to mention... I just don't want to have to clean it five times a day. But then I have to totally. come back, circle around, and clean up breakfast and everything later, and I hate it. I've had so, those feelings when people are staying at my house without me. Oh so, like, gosh. if I'm leaving town and, like, my mother-in-law is watching my kids or something, oh, yeah. I feel like I have to go through every door. Everything. Like, what if they open Obviously, door, I don't have anything they, crazy. But, but like, still, it's next level clean for something like that. Totally. When you know someone. What's the word I'm saying? Unsupervised. There yeah. we go. Yeah, when yeah, it's yeah. there, unsupervised. Holy cow. Yeah. But I just need to get better at like giving myself more time to just get the breakfast cleaned up, get the packs packed and get the hair stuff back put away and then the shoes back upstairs and then we can leave. But half the time or 75% of the time that doesn't happen. And I'm really mad at myself. I, I know. Especially right now. Before when it was like la-di-da, we have all day. We weren't going anywhere. But now we've got more of a routine and I'm like, we're right back there doing it again. Totally. Well, I've had one smooth morning this whole week and the key to it, I've said it over and over again. Well, we have getting ready before your kids wake up. I know. I know. (laughs) Wake up an hour before the freaking kids, Lauren. (laughs) I know I do have to. No, but Uh, I'm I'm just telling you, like, I don't do it either, but there it is such a game changer when you're done and like, you can manage that. And separate. you can manage them. And you can run around and yeah. things get done. It's not you're getting ready. You're getting them ready. Yeah. You're packing lunches. Yeah. You're packing the bags. Da, 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 and cleaning up. Yeah. It's so much with an hour of time. I mean, I like never do that. I did it once because I woke up and I couldn't go back to like I woke up early and I couldn't go back to sleep. And so I was like, I might as well just get ready. And I was like, wow, this is awesome. I guess it is. I know. But I such know. a sacrifice. It is. I've got to uh, do it. Okay. okay. What's your I miss? have to talk. You know my miss. It was epic. Epic. Oh, yes, you have a big best. Oh, yeah, you do. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so we are back in school here in Arizona. My, my children, full-time. Well, Sarah full-time. is full-time back. Yeah, I full-time am not back. yet, but that is huge. Okay, so first week of back, I was like, Kate's not going to ride the bus. I'm going to do drop-off, pick-up myself, everything. Long story short, it just got a little crazy. I was like, she needs to go on the bus. All of our neighbors were doing it. I needed it to happen for work and different things. So... I emailed the school the day before, and um, this is like day four back in school, mm-hmm. okay? I email them, and I'm like, hey, we're going to be doing the bus. Like, what's her route? All the things. I get the information. Long story short, the next day, we're like running behind, of course. And so I'm like, crap, we missed the bus. Come on, I'm going to take you to school. So I drop her off myself, and I'm like, take the bus home, okay? Long story short, I get to the bus stop at her time when she was supposed to arrive, and I see all the kids getting off the bus, and I don't see Kate. Okay. Oh my gosh, right. And I'm like, huh, that's odd. And But again, it's our first time. And I was like, maybe that's a different bus. Maybe hers is coming. So I wait three, four minutes. I'm like, it, you know, it's not late. I start calling moms in my neighborhood. And I'm like, okay, what bus was that? Long story short, she got lost for a total of 35 minutes. Oh my gosh. I could not find my daughter. Okay. <gasps> I was freaking out. Of like course. full panic mode, calling moms in the neighborhood, trying to figure out all the different buses, calling the school. And it was just wild. She ended up staying on the bus because she didn't see her stop. She oh. didn't recognize the stop. Yes. yes. And so I get a phone call. As I'm on the phone with the school, I get a call 
from a wireless number. Like it, it beeps in on me. And I'm like, okay, I grab it. And it's this bus driver, this old oh man, uh-huh. so sweet. And he's like, um, I have, are you Mrs. Bones? And I'm like, yeah, yeah. And he's like, I have your daughter. And they were at a, a high school 15 minutes away. Oh my gosh. And I'm like freaking out. Yeah, a out. high school. A high school. Here's the story. So she was so quiet in the back. He's like parked at the high school getting off the bus. And oh. she like raises her eyes up above the seat and he catches her eye and he's like what are you doing here like why are you still here and she's like um I didn't see my stop you know oh, girl her heart. it was the most terrifying 35 minutes of my entire life. life oh of course coming off the whole trafficking thing like oh who has gosh. her like I just knew in my I just knew that she had gotten off at the wrong stop and she was roaming around aimlessly some random somewhere, neighborhood some random neighborhood that oh was my, my worst gosh. fear gosh I was like I she has no way to get a hold of me oh my gosh it was just crazy Thankfully, she knew my phone number. Yes. And she told him my phone number and he called me and he was so sweet to her and everything. But I raced there. I picked her up and I was just a mess. That is so scary. I was so scary. And how was she? She was like teary but not panicked okay and oh, i think good. it's because she just doesn't know about the bad in the world sure you know what she's I mean? just like i'm on a bus someone yeah. will find me like yeah. yeah i don't think she she's so innocent like i don't think she even has any clue of what it even means to be lost right. you know right what and could happen i mean yes. because the whole evening she's like mom why are you so upset or something yeah, and i'm right. like like what oh i was gosh, just on a well, bus you know like, and so yeah. it's just this oh. whole where i still don't want to tell her all the yes, bad scenarios no, that's but okay let her yeah. like no she was was fine if anything it was like a badge of honor she's like dad guess what just happened to me yeah oh, like blah good, blah blah well, you know i'm glad she could like you uh, know yeah that but it didn't traumatize her and she never wants to go on a bus again no That's good. no it didn't and of all the days for it to happen it's the one so she has a watch a right. gizmo watch we've I had it for so. two years yep. since she started riding the bus and she didn't have it. It, it was didn't like work. The one day she didn't have it. Wasn't it wasn't working. How crazy. So, and I had been trying to get it fixed. Anyway, I got a new watch. <laughs> Thank goodness. Thank I'm goodness. I'm like, girl. it's worth the hundred dollars for Just, my peace of mind. Oh, absolutely. Oh my gosh. We have the. We both have the gizmo. Someone DM'd us about it when you posted about it on yeah. the, bus the other day. It's just like a phone watch that you yeah. can call certain numbers that are entered into it you program the watch right. on your phone and that's you can the only add numbers they can contact yeah and text and it is great and it's like a speaker mode mm-hmm. yeah and it's text but it is a great option and it geolocates them and gps so you yeah. can see at any time where, where they are at, if it's on yep and it's got a lot of really cool parent features and i think it's super reasonable so the watch itself is 99 dollars, and then it's is five it? yeah I, I paid 99 okay no cool. i paid 99 Good. and then it's five dollars a month yeah so and, totally and you cancel any time yeah and I, my fifth grader has it i think they're really smart especially when you're not ready for the phone stage which no. neither of us are so. and just for peace of mind yeah. like for me it's like ugh, absolutely yeah i'm so glad it was a happy ending though i know it was definitely crazy but we're all good and I'm we're all sorry. happy and we've had a really good week other than that okay good good all right well that will do us for this episode we have some exciting things ahead we really do we have been working our tails off and we're really excited Excited for what's going to happen here till the new year. Yeah, it's going to be fun. So stick around. We're going to be back every Monday with new content. We hope you guys enjoyed the episode on skincare. And if you like, please go leave us a rating and a review. And like we mentioned, you can find Kendra at Wildflower Beauty Bar, or you can find us at the Mom Voice Podcast. All right. Hit us up on there. DM us. Ask us any questions. We'll get back to you. And that'll do it. Anything else, Lauren? No, that sounds great. Have a great one. All right. Bye. Bye.